So yesterday, the whole Pokemon Unite community were all united against a particular YouTuber called Mr. Who's the Boss. And in case you guys don't know who he is, he makes tech review videos. And he recently made a video about Pokemon Unite. Well, not specifically about Pokemon Unite, but it was a video about how mobile games were designed to scam you, and he used Pokemon Unite as an example. Which obviously got the whole community in flames. Everyone was holding hands, everyone, they were all reaching their pitchforks in anger. The Garchomp main and the Pikachu main shook hands and called the truce, and everyone decided to kind of call him out, I guess? Oh, except the Ninetales mains, because the Ninetales mains, they, they don't exist. I've watched the video already, um, I'm just here to kind of give a summary about the points and claims he, he's made throughout the entire video. There are a few things that I, that I agree with, like for example, the free-to-play business model, but there are a lot of things that I disagree with as well. First of all, a quick uh, introduction of myself, I'm Ramen Juice. I've been free-to-play since the very beginning, like since season one and I believe most of you guys are too. I am currently sitting at around 1400 Master Rank, and I strongly disagree that the game is pay to win. Now, let me just go on. Let's, let's, let's start off with the claims he's made first. So, the combat is less about skill, more about button mashing. That was the first thing he said, and that couldn't be more further from the truth. Uh, it really depends on the character you play as well, like your gameplay, will never be the same with all characters, especially. Claims that the game is more about how strong you can make your Pokemon before the game starts. Once again, I disagree. Yes, items do give you good necessary steps, steps and stats to make your Pokemon better in-game, but it will not make a difference, especially. As long as you have the right knowledge, the right mechanic, and the right skill, and especially the time to pick up the game and learn from your mistakes, you can beat essentially everyone, including whales, and I speak from experience. In the video, it did show a few questionable plays, especially, like, well, interesting plays. Like, um, running into a 1v2, etc, etc, as a Charmeleon. It's very clear that he's not very experienced in mobile games. I mean, completely understandable. Uh, Pokemon Unite is a lot of people's first MOBA game, I presume, and there's a high ceiling to overcome in order to be, you know, decent at the game, right? Like, you gotta build up game sense, you gotta build up mechanics, you gotta build up a, a, a general understanding of what you can or cannot do. So right after that, there's another thing that he did. He then proceeded to claim that in order to be competitive or to compete at a high level, you would need to level your items all the way to level 30, I disagree. You honestly need to just have your items all the way up to level 20, and that's that's more than enough, honestly. Anyways, more recently as well, you do get three level 30 enhancers, so you can pretty much boost your you can pretty much boost three items to level 30 instantly. Um, but I think not a lot of people were aware of that. I think maybe the game does a bad job in explaining it. So I mean, whatever. Like I. I I will give Benfield the doubt. He then said that Battle Passes, they kind of guilt players into spending more money. <laughs> How? <laughs> no, no, they don't. They they don't. They don't guilt the player into spending more money at all. Like, no one is forcing you to spend money at all. And even if you were to spend money, I think like 90% of actual United players, the whole reason like what incentivizes them to buy the battle passes it's not to get like i mean like the the coins the item boosters are a nice little like they're, it's a nice little package and all but they're mainly there for the skins the emote the cosmetics i mean honestly i would pay for the cosmetics as well but no one is forcing you at the end of the day it's your call but I will agree to the fact that yes, free-to-play games are generally very, very predatory and Pokemon Unite's no stranger to that. They are always shoving promos in your face about battle passes and starter packs and cosmetics, etc, etc. But keep in mind that this is a free game and they would definitely have to make money somehow. Next up, he also said that buying stuff in Pokemon Unite will pit you against bad players to stimulate purchase worth 
at all. I don't think that's the case, and even if that was true at all, there is zero evidence at the moment, otherwise people would not be playing the game in the first place. And lastly, from what I can gather, he also said that the game slows down your progression and they try and sell you ways to speed things up again, and he was referring to the season points. No, <laughs> you do not. There is absolutely no way of you spending money to progress and see them points like they do not give you that option to make money like sorry they do not give you option to spend money in order to progress your season points there so yeah these are the few main things that i disagree with but there are also a few things that i do agree with what he said especially like for example as previously said on free to play games are very predatory and they are trying to force you to spend more and more money as well like for example during the Glaceon, Mew, Tyranita, and Dodrio, and now recently Scizor uh, releases. During the first week, they're only available by gems, and then you can buy them afterwards. But even then, they're getting a lot more expensive. I mean, Dodrio, I think, like what? Now it's like 14,000, 13,000? The inflation of coins, it's gonna be just like Wall Street again, boys. Coins are gonna get hyperinflated eventually and we have to spend more time farming so we have to be very scarce in what we choose to spend especially for free to play players now there are a shit ton of things that can be bought with the limited amount of coins and gems right there's like cosmetics tickets battle passes etc and yeah that's that's completely fair they're like they are pumping out so much events so much content sometimes the best way to keep up with all of it is that you might need to spend a few on you know specific pokemon or specific cosmetics that you really like i mean okay i mean that's fair they have to make the money somehow login dailies are obviously a way to build habit i mean free to play games have a lot of reasons to have players keep coming back the more you stick around the game the more likely it is for you to eventually make your first purchase and once you get comfortable with your first purchase it will eventually snowball and you will end up getting you know, you'll end up buying more and more and more and more and more i am very guilty of that <laughs> but not in pokemon unite i think it was a gacha game called fake grand order i mean what can i say your boy your boy likes his waifus don't judge me so anyway to conclude from what he said there are certainly farmable aos coins and item enhances and tickets that need a considerable amount of dedication in order to farm uh it could be that maybe he might have just played the game for like a few days and came to that conclusion. The game is a bit grindy, but I feel like it's unfair to come to that conclusion after not spending a good amount of time in the game, and especially spending a crap ton of money on the get-go. Remember that game companies are also trying to make money in some way or form, especially from a free game, but there is, once again, zero reason to pay at all. Paying will not give you an unfair advantage or whatnot. This game is completely free to play friendly and you can just progress on by just continuously playing the game. Nothing is going to help you win battles no matter how much money you spend and you're on par with skill level as well. I mean, there was a saying about how bad carpenters will only blame their tools and I completely stand by that point. It's kind of useless even if you have the best like tools and items, but if you can't play your Pokemon or utilize it to its fullest, and then blame the game you are just at this point blaming the game for your failures and not your and not you being inexperienced and lastly i definitely like i'm, I'm trying to be the neutral party here like i'm trying to like not attack anyone i feel like his intentions are definitely pure he was just trying to send a point across about how you know how scummy um and predatory free to get free to play games are but I feel like if you would want to use Pokemon Unite as an example, I feel like a bit of research can definitely go a long way. And if you really want to send the point across, you should probably use a better game like Diablo Immortal. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> but yeah. Also, I just realized during the making of this video, we just released a response. So we might get to that. Let me know if you guys want that. Now let me know what you guys want to see on the next video. Anyways, peace out.